In this tutorial we'll learn how to send data from the player to the server. But first let's start with making our life a bit easier for the future. Last tutorial we saw that in order for us to make changes to our multiplayer we have to build the project, get the generated DLL and replace it in the plugins directory. Doing this every time we make changes will be very annoying so we're going to change that by telling our Visual Studio every time we build to place the DLL in the plugins folder by itself. Open the project, right click on it and select properties, then build events. And in the second text field, post the following line. With xcopy, we are telling the file in the left quotes to be copied in the directory on the right side. With y, we are just saying to replace the file without asking us. Solution dir helps us navigate to our solution folder, so if at some point we change the project directory, this command will still work. We use dot dot slash to go up one directory, that's because our server folder is inside the main unity folder and not where our solution is. Now let's build the project, and if we go to the server plugins folder, we can see that we have our new DLL generated. Now that we're done, let's open our plugin we created last time. Dark Rift provides us with two useful events that we're going to use, uh, which will notify us when a player connects to the server or when he disconnects. In order to see if they work, let's just output something to the console and when the client connects or disconnects, it should output player connected or player disconnected. Next, let's open our Unity project and create a new game object which we'll call Network Manager. Inside it we should add a component called Client. This is a component from Dark Rift in which we only have to change the host. If you're using the default settings just change the host to 127001 which means this is our computer, our local host just the IP address of the local host. That's how we'll connect our player to the server. If you place the server in another hosting, just change the IP to what it should be. Now let's start the Dark Rift server and start the game itself. When we click on play, we can see that the console outputs player connected and we when we stop the game, we can see it outputs player disconnected. Also, you can notice that it says client with ID 0. And uh, when we try to connect again, we can see it's client 1. So every time we connect a new client, a uh, new client ID is assigned to it. Now that we see that we're connecting successfully and disconnecting successfully from the server, the next step is to send something from our player to the server. So. Let's first create a new folder, let's call it scripts, and inside it create a new script that we're going to use to send our data to the server. Import Darkrift inside your script. Thank you. 
then we need to create a variable that will contain our client component. It's called Unity Client. Next, we need to create a new method, which we'll be using when we click a button, we would like to send a message to the server, just for an example. Let's call it onClick test button. Now, to send the actual message, we have to use a class called DarkRiftWriter. Use it as shown on the screen. Then we write writer.write and we put inside whatever we want to send to the server. Usually, we will change this for the in the future tutorials. We'll send it a bit differently, but for this example, we'll just do it in a simple way and just output some text in it. Next, we need to tell the client to actually send a message to the server. We do this by just writing message.create. The first parameter is a tag. It should be something unique. So in our case, we just put four. In the future, we'll be doing it a bit differently, like I said, but just for the simple example, we do it like this. And then put the writer variable we just created. Then we write client.send message. We put the first parameter as message because that's how our variable is called. And the second parameter is very important because we have two options. One of them is send mode reliable and send mode unreliable. Reliable mode responds to TCP and unreliable to UDP. The difference between them, if you don't know, in simple words, is TCP is it means that we always want to receive the message and UD UDP, which is unreliable, means that not every time our messages will be received. Two examples for this can be if we send a chat message, we always want to receive the chat message on the other side. That's why we'll be using the reliable one, TCP. And the unreliable one is, for example, when we walk, we would like to detect our steps, our player steps, but maybe not every step will be sent. Now let's create our button. Just a simple button. And then we just put on click event to be pointing at our new method we just created. Now let's open our server part. Because we're sending a message from our client, we have to receive it somehow. So there is an event in Darkrift that's called message received. And this is, as you can guess, every time we receive a message from somewhere, we receive it here. By calling our message received event arguments, get message, we get the actual message that is received from the server and the message itself contains our tag. If you remember from the client side, we chose that our unique message has a tag, a unique tag of four. So every time we receive something with this kind of tag, we know that it was our text that we just sent it. Then we just use Darkrift Reader to read the actual message because we can pass a lot of stuff, maybe integer, string or whatever it is. In our case, we passed string, so we just write reader.readString and then let's output it in the console. Now let's build, let's start our server and start our game at the same time. When we click on our button, we can see every time we click the message we're sending from the client, we're receiving it in the server. That was it. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe for more.